All right, guys, I'm out here sampling this new property. This is just beautiful. It's an old gold mine. There's tailing piles everywhere. Just doing some sampling of this little inside bend. Right on this boulder here. Slid it over just a little bit. Dug me my little hole right here. I got 12 colors in one pan on the first pan. And I got a nice little picker I could pick up with my hand just further down creek. It's gonna be hard to see. I'll show you guys in a bit. This place is it. That's it. Hey guys, George Lusboy Prospect, and here we go. We're uh, out here sampling some new ground. We're in Auraria, and we're seeing some pretty interesting place. I've never seen the material like this. It's filled with iron. Let me try and turn you around. But look at these nice little channels here. It's so steep. You can't see it from the camera, but this stuff here is steep, steep. Don't seem like it on the camera, but look at this crevice. Keep getting these huge pockets in holes here. Travels past for a little while, so all exposed bed rock. And then another huge hole over there, about a five foot hole right there where that water seems a little rapid. There's like a four or five foot hole there. Several color after color after color in my pan. Look at this beautiful little trough right here. Tiny little thing cut into the See how wide it would get during the storm. We're not necessarily looking for gold in the water. We're looking for gold. We are looking for some uh, high and dry stream bed <clears throat> up top. We're looking for more of a larger scale mine in this situation. But let me tell you, I got my dad up there with the mine lab. A lot of hot rocks over and over and over. Took about uh, two hours to dig out four or five foot target out of the creek way further back and ended up being a piece of just chunk of trash it was sounded so good but back up over in here there's a there's a gold um water transfer ditch it's this weird ditch that just winds and winds around and it's uh not too large not too uh wide but it goes for as far as we could go off the property and it comes from north and it's running southwest it's really cool a lot of history a lot of ditches were built here got to find out which one it was but it's huge news I'll see you guys later. All right. So this, I believe, is an old water transfer ditch. This was dug by hand to bring water to an old mine that's that way. Really cool. You can just tell this thing was dug by hand. Just had gold out of that creek. 10, 12 colors per pan in this creek. This place is just, this is absolutely beautiful. All right, here we are guys. More sampling up here in Dahlonega. I got this creek right here. And I realized the bedrock decomposing. All right. Big enough to break, but you notice that the crevices are going horizontally to the water. That's why we're looking here. Well, we know there's gold here, but this is just great gold trash. So check this out. Started coming, breaking some big chunks out of here. Big chunks of bedrock. And got these holes and pockets underneath. You can see that. Basically, just sticking my hand down in there in my little shovel. Coming right out of the side of this hill here, but look at my pan. This is one half a half a pan here, half a pan of material, and this is what I'm getting out of it. Let's see if you can see. There's some pretty decent chunks down there. Nice and sharp and jagged. It's not gone very far. Bunch of finds in there too. For half a pan, guys. <laughs> 